So we're going to lose this because um, I should have turned off AI because... Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. As you can see, we have for alligator. And as you saw from the thumbnail, we're going to talk about for alligator. Now, don't be mistaken. Just because I have for alligator does not mean anything good. In fact, as of this recording, I am three and 12 in my last 15. The only three wins that I have have come from bug bot. It is simply because I have gemmed like 140 gems, something absolutely ridiculous and a, a stupid amount of gems to refill my energy. If we look at for alligator, he is a pure water type. His ability is speed booster and basically what that is, when this Pokemon evolves, it will gain one MP. Same as Tyranitar, same as Charizard, same as Gyarados. And I wanna say that there might be one more, but those are the three that come to mind. So now we can add for alligator to that list. Looking at his wheel, he's got two miss sections eight and four, so at level five, it'll be two four miss sections, a 24 slice hydro pump at 120, a 32 slice bite at 70, and a 28 two star purple washout where the battle opponent is knocked two steps back and has weight. This Pokemon was originally available with the Japanese release. It was a reward for it. I believe they were called carnivals back before they had gym cups. And it has, like all the others, received a buff and is the reason why I feel like the next gym will be, I think, Ground Electric. And then I think it's Raikou becomes available. Uh, the, the evolution of, what is it, Electabuzz? We'll probably get a revamp and then they will release that. And I, I think that covers all of the previous releases that were not available worldwide. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I was looking at his pre-evolution and it looks really difficult to evolve. More so, you know, if you look at um, Charizard, well, Magikarp first and foremost is super easy to evolve. So there's that. But then if you look at, at uh, Pupitar, you know, 50 and there's a small 20 and then a dodge with no miss at level five. So it's definitely doable. You have Charizard who has a 50 and then two miss sections. And then there's a, a searing shot, which is gonna burn your opponent a two star purple. Less than Pupitar, definitely less than Magikarp as far as evolving. But then when I look at this one, it's pre-evolution. I'm looking at a 20 miss segment. It does have 60 bite, so maybe, um, I don't know. To me, to me, I would say, but it does have the purple displacement. The battle opponent's knocked back one. I don't know, th this could be on par with Charmeleon as far as being able to evolve into your fur alligator. I don't know though. I, I think I think it would be difficult at best. There are a lot of Mews running around. You do have a 50% chance, but if you're going up against Mew, you've got almost a 30% chance that you're gonna roll your purple into its gold. I risky. How about that? I would say that it's risky, which means as a 1 MP Pokemon, I'm pretty underwhelmed with for Alligator. As a 2 MP Pokemon, I like him a lot more. He's still primarily going to do 70 damage. So keep that in mind. I, I Again, with all these that are being re-released, I don't necessarily see, with the, with the exception of Magikarp and Gyarados, I really don't see any of them making their way 
into regular league play, and that makes me sad. But who knows? There are a lot smarter people at this game than I am. Maybe they can figure out a way to make it work. I will definitely try it. I'm going to take him into Gym Cup play for you guys for a couple of games and test him out. As you saw from the opening, I have a little bit different deck for this. So um, there you go. We're going to refill gyms, but it's bad. My, my plates, the plates that I've chosen, because everybody here is a 1 MP except for Magikarp and um, Marsh Tomp. My plates are Long Throw, Goal Block, and Max Revive. And as you can see from my ranking, I'm 15, 17. <laughs> so I, I'm legit not joking with you when I tell you that I have played awful this Gym Cup so far. I don't really have a strategy, obviously. Um, apparently I'm gonna get two Shuppets rammed down my throat. And um, there's just nothing that we can do about this. Except for run and hide and cover our goal. <laughs> oh man. So, with this right here, this gem just goes to prove that you do not have to have the best EX Pokemon to win. Because I think I have every Pokemon, and I'm not winning. I'm not even coming close to winning. Um, this is awesome. <laughs> um, like, I'm, it, it's, I don't even know what to say. Who's and I need to find someone who has the most attack Probably our boy for alligator, so we are going to long throw this old boy out there I guess I you know what I'm going to attack shove it with Magikarp Because a why not All right, so now the trick is gonna be, oh boy, and he has evolutions on his <laughs> shuppets. Um, so now we're gonna have to try to get an entry point open without getting burned. He's gonna come down here. I am just gonna go protect Swampert and his blue. And the first thing, oh, okay. First thing we're gonna do is get the knockout. Now, since I can't get burned here, we are actually just going to attack. Come on, dude. Oh wait, it's not my turn. I always forget about that with the hyper beam, that it automatically makes it the other person's turn. So I, did, I suspect Greninja is probably gonna come flying down the lane here. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, I've got three 1MP Pokemon that are going to clog up my entryway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I, I don't know Diablo. My guess is that Diablo is not Storm. I can live with my goalie being sent back to the bench because it gets my entry points clear. My guess is Diablo, and I don't know him, is with this deck is not going to fare real well um, in the long run. I can't believe it. I just knocked out two Shuppets and did not get burned at all. So we're actually kind of making something out of this. We've got Corsola on the on the field, which is gonna give all our one MP Pokemon two MP. And that's what the Max Revive is for. The sole purpose of the Max Revive in this deck is when Corsola gets knocked out. 
is to bring him right back on the field. Ideally, the long throw was meant for him as well, but given the circumstances, oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, you just can't win for losing sometimes. So I have no purple. I don't have to worry about that. I'm actually cool with him being right there. Does he have no hurdle jumps? Okay. If I can knock him out, that would be just awesome. No. I'm actually, I, I'm going to bring out Corsola again, but I'm gonna bring out Manaphy real quick. And then I'm going to slide Gyarados up here. Hopefully Gyarados can pull off a win. That's kind of the same as a win. We're going to max revive, put Corsola back onto the field. And then I don't know what, let's see what happens here. We definitely do not want Tracheon anywhere near Corsola because all that beautiful blue that protects him on the goal turns to a miss. And now, I, I, I would be lying if I didn't say I was surprised that A, the game has lasted this long, and B, we got all of our Pokemon out on the field. Good thing he rolls miss. And I'm not even scared. We're just going to take... Ideally, I'm, I would not want to drive Manaphy down the lane here. But sometimes you have to just kind of make do with what you've got. That was beautiful. <laughs> and because he has Metagross on the field, he can't respin. All right. Look at us go. And he's, he's still trying over here. We're just going to send him back to where he came from. Then press forward, he has switch, goal block, and double chance. Ooh, he got lucky. I, I, I'm, for Alligator has done his job. He came in and he knocked out Bennett. Oh my gosh, like look at this. This is absolutely incredible. Um, of course, he's going to be able to bring a Pokemon out on the field. That was not the right choice to attack. He should have. Um, he should have gone after Kyogre. So I'm going to back up Kyogre one, in case he decide figures it out that he went after the wrong one. Maybe he just knows more than I do. Because apparently Gyarados was the right one. Hmm. And now we have a ginormous miss. All right, for Alligator, this is, um, apparently this is going to be your show. So do your thing, buddy. You're going to get to take a swipe at Greninja, no matter what happens here. Um, I'm attacking Greninja. Oh, oh, oh. I, I'm sorry I lied. Not no matter what, because I'm going to take over the entry point first. Now, if he doesn't quit. Oh, we won. <laughs> we got a victory. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but for Alligator did his job.
He rolled the 90 that knocked out Manette on the corner. That's um that's kind of as, as close to a highlight as you're gonna get. But let's go again. That um I'm, I'm not gonna say that was fun, although winning is fun. It's way more fun than losing. But like that was bad, quite honestly. Let's see what we come up with on take two. A couple gabites. Focus band, forcer, pre switch. Another very interesting deck build. Of course, mine is a super interesting deck build. There's really no rhyme or reason for you to make the deck that I have. It um, It's not sustainable. I don't even know how some of these Pokemon stack up. It's, oh my gosh, no hurdle jumps. That's great. So I put Marsh Tomp there because even if Flygon hits Fly, I've got my long throw and that'll create the surround kill, not the surround sound. And if I can save my long throw, I will. I honestly don't even know what Focus Band does. Does that keep him from dying if... Okay. Well, I'm not really sure. I guess we can go look. But first, we are going to surround him. Focus Band. Okay, so that cannot be knocked out. Now, we don't like... We're gonna put Manaphy right here because the only way, Manaphy either has to land on that little bitty dodge in order to turn into a miss. Other than that, he's just gonna spin himself around. And I like those odds the best out of everything else that I have going on. This little Crawdant is an interesting little feller. And since this is for alligators video, we're gonna send for alligator up the lane here, but this crawl ain't, you can't attack, well, and you can't attack that guy either. So we will block that off and then we're gonna attack Gabite. We've got him completely covered on all attacks. Okay. Perfect, perfect. But this Crawdant, if you attack him, he can go backwards two spaces, I believe. Um, so let's see. And, and he's not going to take the battle. When attacked, this Pokemon can move back two steps without battling, but it gains weight. <laughs> So that was actually kind of cool. I, I'm actually completely okay with that happening. And then I wonder if I attack him again, I wonder if he'll just back up again and get out of my way. Perfect. <laughs> so let's see if Onyx, nope, Onyx doesn't want to play anymore. Um. That is most likely going over to, so let's just hope he doesn't get dig into our, what is it, into our bubble, because that would be bad. And actually that would be bad too. Very sad times, very sad times there. I don't feel like I need the additional 20 boost. 90. So we're, we're going to let for alligator shine a little bit here. He doesn't have a hurdle jump. Okay. So we're going to let for alligator 
kind of go and see what he can do. Wash out versus the dig. I wonder if I went and attacked Crawdant. He's not gonna move back too, obviously, because he gains weight. So he would have to take the battle. Oh well, that worked out really well for us. Yes, we are definitely going to evolve into Swampert. Maybe I should have been filming videos all day of my games because this is going a lot better than any game in my previous 20 has gone. So I'm interested. Um, if I go attack, he's going to accept and then like he doesn't push. The only thing that I really have to worry about is his gold. Let's do it. I, I really don't see him backing up here. Okay. And I should be favored. Perfect. So now he's going to use his gold block. Not sure who he was going to use. Maybe Gabite? No. Probably Onyx. Be, be my best guess here. So, so far for Alligator, is, he's, he's doing all right for us. He's definitely going to gold block. I, Onyx would... I don't know. He doesn't have to gold block. We are not going to just leave him out, although he's probably going to hit fly away. Don't like many or any of my options here. Okay, I'm definitely cool with that. And I guess we're just going to leave it up to Feraligator again to attack Onyx here. See what happens. Nice. Okay, okay. I don't know what he does here. I guess maybe move Flygon back over his goal. Definitely doesn't want to attack. Okay. Not going to fall for the bait of getting surrounded. Um, I'm actually going to use my Max Revive, not because I feel like I need the plus 20, but because I want to attack with Magikarp. And if he gets fly, okay. If he gets fly, then um, then I didn't want to give him free run. Uh oh, but he got Draco Meteor. This puts everybody in danger. He should go after Swampert. Nope. For alligator. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. He's going to try this again. We're going to try to get him to hit fly. Perfect. And I believe that's going to be, yeah. So that's going to get him surrounded. Which, that's why I, I pulled out the Manaphy. And um, now he's got to move to cover his goal or forfeit. Or, 
or he knocked out by Magikarp, and no, we're not going to evolve. So now he's most likely going to forfeit. I, I can't see a reason for him to continue. Unless he just wants to attack for Alligator with Gabite for Giggles. Okay. There's no there's no need to attack here. I'm total control. <laughs> Look at Magikarp doing some work here. This is crazy. So this was supposed to be for Alligator's video. But in this game right here, Magikarp absolutely stole the show. And I have to be honest, this, these two games right here totally lifted up my spirits for this game over the course of the last several matches that I've played, simply because nothing has gone that good for me. I, I haven't gotten those kind of rolls, and I don't know how long. Um, and we get some gold out of the deal. Perfect. I think I have a timed booster, and I know I still have energy and I could do more, but um, I'm not, because this video is already really long. But I will open a booster. And a lot of people complain about these, these boosters, but if you look at if you look at the, the six hour boosters, the purples compared to the moss, you get an extra Pokemon out of the moss that you don't get out of the purple six hour boosters. So if I'm gonna wait six hours and only get one Pokemon, I'd rather wait six hours and get two Pokemon to add to my Pokedex. Just my personal opinion. Typically you're not gonna get anything useful, but the reality of the situation is, how many Pokemon are you actually looking for? There's 200 and almost 80 Pokemon registered in the Pokedex if you go to the library. Like, legitimate, it's an actual question. How many of those are you looking for that would be useful for you to say, wow, this wasn't garbage? I opened a Rainbow Booster yesterday and I got a Gardevoir out of it. And my first thought was, meh. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, well, I got an EX. It's not one that I'm currently using, but who knows what will happen in the future. And then I started thinking, you know, there's only a handful of Pokemon that could have come out of there that would make me say, oh, wow, that was amazing. So just kind of keep that in mind, that if there's 200, almost 300, 280 Pokemon available and you're looking for maybe 10, and most of those are EX, and so your EXs already have a really small chance of, of coming out of a booster. And then you narrow those 30, 25 down to, I want these six. You're going to be way more disappointed than you are excited. So keep that in mind. Thank you for all the support from yesterday's video. Um, as Rico pointed out, I was so excited putting the video together that one of the first things I do in my head is I go in when I'm in post-production and change the, the number on the installment. But because I added the, the new feature to the front end, it totally slipped my mind to go back and change the installment number. So yesterday's and the day before's both said 99, although yesterday was actually 100 in. So today is 101. And I don't know if I'm gonna make it 99 more of these. We'll see, kind of depends on you guys. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you're having fun in the gym cup. There are, this is gonna be a shameless plug real quick before I let you go. There are some amazingly, is that a word amazingly? There are some amazing things in the works over at my Discord as far as tournaments and adding additional dimensions to the game. I, I can't go into everything now, mainly because I don't truly understand all of it myself. Drake and uh, Pops have been working behind the scenes, putting together some programs. Believe me, go join my Discord. You will like 
some of the fun things that we're adding to the game to take out the monotony of a week of league play, a week of gym, a week of league play, a week of gym. And maybe, who knows, if people at the Pokemon company are looking at content creators, I know sometimes it happens, and I'm not egotistical enough to think that I'm even on anybody's radar, but if they are looking at content creators to see what the state of their game is, hopefully they come across this. Hopefully they go to my Discord and see some of the stuff that we're putting together as far as tournaments. Um, kind of similar to what Ghost Shiny Hunter did with the different badges and different regions, things of that nature. I don't want to give it all away. And, and honestly, I couldn't even if I, even if I wanted to because I just don't know it all. But there are some great things. Come by the Discord. Check it out. Subscribe to the Discord. Um, I'm excited, and I don't even know everything that's going on. And if you're a fan of Pokemon and Pokemon games and Pokemon lore, you should be really excited about this as well. Also, we have only six people left in my first tournament. Um, G Oak and Lionheart won their Elite Eight round games, and there are but uh, two, uh, four. So there are two more, if there were eight. Yeah, so there are two more games to be played to take us down to the semifinals. I gotta tell you the last two hours yesterday as that thing was, or two days ago as that thing was winding down was epic. If you didn't get involved in the tournament, shame on you because there were people that were doing massive wagers. I put a, I put a link on my Twitter to Ghost Shining Hunter's video. He had one of the most miraculous finishes of a game that you have ever seen. It was for eight gems that would have, I'll just put it this way. The winner propelled themselves to the top of the leaderboard off of that game. But eight gems, that was absolutely crazy. It was, the game is great. I will put a link here and if, I wasn't able to put the link there. It'll be down in the description. You have to go check out the game. Make sure you watch it to its conclusion because it, if you are a fan of this game, you're gonna be on the edge of your seat wondering how this thing turns out. It was great. Um, thank you for participating, Shiny. You just missed out on the final eight, but it was very valiant effort. And I do appreciate you taking the time to find my tournament worthy of your attention. All right, I've gone on long enough. This video is long again. Sorry, guys. Until next time.